Calgary mother Michelle Graves didn't give it a second thought when she was asked to volunteer her baby girl Avery to medical science. I'm actually a biology teacher, so any chance to get involved in research I think is really interesting and really important as well. So when they came to my hospital room, I jumped right in. Avery, along with more than 200 other healthy newborns at three hospitals in Calgary, have been helping researchers establish some precise baseline data on oxygen saturation levels and trends. The oxygen level in the blood is sort of the, the end product of how the body is functioning. It's telling you how the heart is working and how the lungs are working and how well the body is, is perfused as well. Our concern is that without a good understanding of what normal is, um, how can we define abnormal when screening? A baby's oxygen saturation tells doctors how much oxygen their hemoglobin is carrying. If the saturation is too low, it may indicate problems with the cardiovascular system. Babies whose oxygen saturation is too low are often sent for an echocardiogram. However, research has shown that only a small percentage of those follow-up tests actually reveal a congenital heart issue. We think too many babies are going for echocardiogram and it's causing a burden on the system. Uh, stress to the parents obviously um, and, and we feel that perhaps by better defining normal we may be able um, to, to help interpret you know or to set guidelines for which baby should go but that's not the primary purpose of our research right now we're just trying to define normal and, and more importantly uh, and this is something unique to our study we're trying to define uh, the variability in oxygen saturations in healthy babies. The, the oxygen level in the blood is is not like weight or height, something that changes slowly. It changes several times uh, in a minute in, in a healthy baby. And we want to show how wide uh, of a variability we can observe in healthy babies. Um, they just came to the hospital room and hooked her two monitors, one on her foot and one on her wrist, and then they left her for about half an hour and then came back and just uh, undid everything and they had the readings that they needed. It's, it's quite, quite a wonderful technology. It simply uses light, um, uh, which it reflects into the baby's uh, skin and measures how much light of certain frequencies is absorbed and um, by running some calculations on that, it can determine how much oxygen is in the baby's blood. There's no known downsides or side effects to the technology. I have a few friends who have children with different, uh, either born healthy or had um, different complications at birth, and they either way have involved their children in study to get the data that can help other kids later. It's really important. I mean, that's the beauty of research is that we're all contributing one piece to the larger puzzle, and, uh, and, and we hope that this will make an important contribution towards that.